What's up, Cal gang? We're back here with the messy whiteboard, and we're using traces to sketch and identify surfaces. So this problem right here, it's uh, looking kind of weird, and you might not know how to draw this. Like me, I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm like, wait a second, how would I draw this? So I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna split it into different planes, basically. And what you can do is say, let's see, let's do the XY plane first. When we have the XY plane, that means that Z is equal to zero, and we can actually represent that mathematically by just saying z is equal to zero on this. So it's gonna be three x squared plus y plus three zero, we can see is equal to zero, is equal to zero. All right, now what we can do is we can just say y is equal to negative three x squared, subtract that from the side, and then we have an equation that we know how to draw from like algebra, basically. So y is equal to negative three x squared, right? So we know that both is gonna start at zero, and this is a parabola, right? So, um, so when x is equal to one, y is gonna be equal to negative three. So it's gonna be a very steep parabola, like so. All right, so this is like negative three, and this is one, and this is negative one. All right, so that's how you draw these kind of things. So let's do the xz plane. So you're gonna find that the uh, xz plane is actually a circle. Let's, let's just see that. So to do the xz plane, you said y is equal to zero. So three x squared plus three z squared is equal to zero. But uh, wait a second. That's, that's not right, right? This is, never going to have a function. This is never going to mean anything. It's just going to be a dot at the center. So actually what you can do is you can set y is equal to k, a constant. So let's say that y is equal to k, a constant, just any number really is what I'm saying. So therefore, we have that 3x squared plus 3z squared. I'm going to subtract the y. It's going to equal negative k, right? All right, so let's say that k is equal to negative 1, all right? So if we say that k is equal to negative 1, that's basically saying y is equal to negative 1. So then we have 3x squared plus 3z squared is equal to negative 1, or just normal 1. All right, now this is an equation of a sphere we can write. Um, so basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a tiny little number. It's going to be very small in there. But boom, that's when y is equal to 1. All right, so let's say, let's say k is equal to negative 3. That's when y is equal to negative 3. All right? And therefore, we have 3x squared plus 3z squared is equal to 3. Then that just means that we divide by three on both sides, x squared plus z squared is equal to one. And this is the equation of a sphere, or a circle, with radius one. So this is, this is at k is equal to negative one. And this is one, one, negative one, negative one. This is when k is equal to negative three. And, and you can basically say that's where y and whatever, but it's just easier to use k in this occasion. All right, so let's go over to the yz plane. We have enough information here to pretty much figure out what it's gonna look like. So yz, it's gonna be y plus three z squared is equal to zero, or y is equal to negative three z squared, which is basically the exact same thing we had for x, except the z this time. So if z is equal to one, y is gonna be equal to negative three, right? It's gonna look something like this. Am I right about that? Uh, yes, I am right about that. All right, so now that we have our three, uh, three traces, we can go ahead and just put them into our graph. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, so let's start with x, y. Um, so we see that it's kind of a parabola going negative y, and then it starts at zero, zero. So it's gonna kind of look like this, where this is, oh, that's really ugly. This is negative three, and then this is one, negative one, this is one. So there's kind of like a point here and a point here, right? Oh, that's so ugly. It's okay, you guys know what's going on. Now the yz, you see it kind of goes negative y with the z, it's gonna be the like, same thing, just in the yz plane. So it's gonna be like here where this is one, this is negative one, so it's gonna kind of look like a so. And then we have our x and z plane, which is gonna be a little bit more confusing, but let me show you guys how to do this. You see that y is equal to k, so therefore when y is equal to negative three, we're gonna have a circle with radius of one, right? So let's go here, y is negative three, circle radius of one. We actually already drew this. Pretty cool, right? So what you're seeing is like a, a parabola, kind of in three space. It's going down, it's going down, and it's just getting bigger as it goes this way, but it starts at zero. So that's what we have here. That's how you can, uh, that's how you can use traces to sketch and identify a surface. Pretty cool problems, and you just gotta take it step by step and uh, figure it out little, little pieces by little pieces. And these are my favorite kind of problems, so uh, keep doing them and you'll enjoy them. So yeah, good luck on your Calcom work, guys.